Welcome back. We have awakened the Embrace in uh, Julston. And next I want to go to St. Andrew and do the same thing again. I'm very curious to see what we can do there now that we have all the upgrades. Uh, where do we need to go? We need to go to Reservoir. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what this will uh, do. What we can do here and um, what this Camelus is that we saw. Nothing else we can do up here. We already opened all of these valves, and there were no further sockets to be found. Presumably our goal here is the same as in Julston to uh, lower the water so we can get to the other side there. But how we're going to accomplish that here is not so clear. We haven't seen any pumps or anything like that. We have those valves and the pipes, but we had no obvious way of doing anything with that. Also, still a big question mark. We are the keepers. Is, um... What is... Well, what do we need to do in Curieville? Because, um... Lowering the water is probably not going to work there, unless it wants to get summer real quick. Okay, let's see what we can do here. This still says no power, obviously. But hopefully, even though the socket on the thing, which I presume is the Camelus, um, is out of reach, hopefully we can connect to it from here. It looks like we can, because now it turned green. Energize the Camelus. Begin. Okay. Seems to be all it's doing. Is it energized? It's... I mean, stuff's turning. That seems to be it. No obvious... Um, motion otherwise, but now we have this socket. Uh, previously said no power. Oh, summon. Oh, dear God. I can tell you one thing. I was not expecting this thing to walk. But walk it does, and we can get on it now. Interesting. We did see some additional uh, stairs and stuff. Really, I can't just... Okay. Can't see them. Well, I can just barely see the see them at the all the way over there, just in the middle of the screen, kind of. We did see those before. We couldn't get to them, so maybe this will take us there. Huh? Yeah, that's what I was aiming at. Obviously. Oh, and here we need another. Um, we need the. Uh, Additional force upgrade. 
without which, um, if we'd done Justin first and got here before we finished this realm, or before we raised the spire, we would have been able to summon the Camelus, but would not have been able to open it. Why that needs extra force, I don't know. Looks like we can go inside. Uh, what have we got? Lower and raise. Oh. Oh, literally lower and raise the whole thing. Let's see if there's a hole in the floor here, what we're doing. Getting mighty close to that tree. Kind of hard to judge how close exactly. I think we still have quite a bit of clearance. Kind of want to see what that did. It, well, it lowered us. Now we can't get back. Oh, it looks like it slides up and down the legs. Like these attachment points can move up and down. Interesting. Interesting design. Seriously, why can't I walk over that? Um, I don't know how high or low we want it, so we'll just leave it where it is for now. Ooh, we can look out. There's a window here. Oh. And what looks like a map. We are united. Um. At the top there, that I am assuming is the uh, reservoir. And the thing that indicates that there's sockets on those four places are the valves that we opened before. And then it's... I guess there are additional valves. The symbols that are next to each of the pipes are the same as the valve symbol we saw on the... when well, using the socket on the adjunct display. So that indicates closed valves that I assume we can open closer to their location, unless those are the valves that are being opened from those sockets? I don't really know. The round blue circles at the end would be the irrigation towers, I'm assuming. Helpfully says irrigation. So this is basically a fancy tractor, I guess. <laughs> Some kind of uh, agricultural tool they used here. Wonder if maybe it had attachments to help with sowing or harvesting or something, or if they had different machines for that. Or did everything by hand, who knows. Maybe this was just transportation. Let's see what we can do here. We can drive the Camelus. We can only go forward and backwards. Oh no wait, we can also turn left and right. Okay forward. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Um, I guess we're gonna go to that one first, because it's the closest. Um, not the easiest control scheme, where I have to switch modes to turn. Further. Well, I guess these tall legs make short work of the uh, of the uh, rough terrain here. Oh, hey, it's like like a radar screen, I guess, on the adjunct display. It's now showing the valve symbol, which I guess is over there. Excuse my driving. And the, oh, there's a socket there. But uh, this is glass. 
don't know how easy that is to see it in the video, but there's definitely glass there. So, we're not doing that. But... This is open, I think. It doesn't look like it's covered by anything. So, I guess I want to go in... ...ass first. There's where that radar screen is gonna help. We line up, I guess. We want that just about straight behind us. And reverse. Is the X the hole? Um, sir, I appear to have clipped into a pipe. Alright, um, can we reach that? Yes. Alright! That did something. I could hear something happening. I can hear water as well now. So I assume that with both the valves open, the one over by the reservoir, which we did way before, and now this one, water is flowing. So I guess we just have to do that uh, at every pipe, and then we'll have lowered the water, hopefully. Okay, yeah, and it shows this is open now. Alright, that shouldn't be too hard. Are these... There's statues on the... Outside of the reservoir. Are those the same ones that are... That's definitely one of the ones we saw in the... in the uh, the top of the spire. Are they all here? And forward we go. Uh, this is probably the least convenient way to look at this. Well, that's, that's the same one, isn't it? I th yeah, I think so. Is it? Kind of hard to tell. Maybe if I raise Camelus more. Wait, can I just fight? No. Ah, that's I wanted to see. Can I see the legs move? You can. That's cool. So it's a combination of both a hinge on the end of the legs and then it actually moving along the legs. Interesting. We even have different sounds for the different stages of movement. Pretty neat. Anyway, I think that's the same statue. Um, anyway, let's try to get to the end of this pipe. Um, where's the valve? Where is the valve? Directly to our left right now. It looks like it would be in the vertical part of the pipe, but I can't see it. Is it on the other side where the stairs are? That's probably what we're going to be doing. So, this is where those platforms were. So, let's see if I can find those. Oh, yeah, there. There we go. Alright, we're going to have to line this up because that's going to get annoying. Oh, no. It's docking. 
Also looks like the same statue, just... Just saying. Uh, I think it looks to be only the one statue that we see here. Interesting, I wonder what that means. Um, we're parked here. Nothing underneath us. Um, that doesn't seem to accomplish anything. But we can go here. And get some new views. Oh! Well, what do you know? St. Andrew does have a bunker. Um. Hmm. I don't see... Oh, that's... I'm like, where's that... Where? What tree is casting that shadow? It's that tree. Nowhere else we can go, so let's check out the uh, bunker. I'm not going to bother getting on the roof because it hasn't accomplished anything so far. And I doubt it will now. Alright, Camelus Irrigation Engine. Responsibilities of Keepers. Inspect the structural elements for damage or wear. Dock and repair if necessary. Inspect the machinery for damage or wear. Dock and repair if necessary. Inspect mechanical movement for faults or flaws. Dock and repair if necessary. Monitor levels of oil and grease in machinery. Dock and correct any deviation. Inspect irrigation pipes. Repair if necessary. Inspect irrigation valves. Repair if necessary. Clean, dry, and apply oil to the Camelus. Inform other keepers in the realm of any deviation. Inquire from other keepers in the realm of any deviation. Confirm with reservoir keepers that water supply is at the correct level and of expected quality. Confirm with farming and vault keepers that growing conditions are optimal. And our usual bit of Latin. Okay. That all that's here. How about lowering this? this ah! Hey! I was gonna say, is the... Is the vault in... Uh, in Curieville the only one that has more rooms to it? But it seems this one does too. Oh, well... Not much! Okay, well, the vault in Curieville still is clearly the biggest one. Unless there is also... No, there's no way. There's nothing more than a mouse hole behind there. Um, could be a pretty big mouse, though. But not big enough for a person. Oh, hey, there's the... Conservatory. Pretty neat looking. And I'm assuming this is the valve that we could not see. There we go. Well, that makes two. Presumably that means the water level is halfway down now. One has to wonder. This also means that they're not all going to be as easy as just access a valve from the bottom of the Camelus. That's where this one we have to get off. And there's two more we need to do. So who knows 
what obstacles they might yet throw at us. But so far, so good. Okay, these two pipes went this way. Um, the other pipes are on the other side of the, the docking platform that where we started. I kind of want to dock there again, though. I just want to see if we can tell that the water's been lowered already. There we go, docking here. We have arrived. Let's see. I am just curious if this is accomplishing anything at all. And who knows, maybe two valves is enough, in which case we are done. Oh yeah, that water's dropping. It has, however, not dropped far enough yet. So we will have to keep going. Check out the two remaining valves. We understand. I'm going to assume we have to do both of them. Okay, let's go that way. It's a little straightforward, it's just the irrigation tower over there. I don't see anything where we could get off. That's in a cage. I'm at my highest, aren't I? Oh, not anymore. Cause I, it's because I docked. Okay, something tells me that's not going to be high enough, though. That looked higher. Awfully close, though. I doubt we can get on top of it with the uh, Camelus's butthole, for lack of a better word. No, that's definitely still above the bottom of the Camelus. So, what else do we do? Uh oh, okay. There is a... There's another socket there. Fortunately, we can reach that. Oh, there we go. I wonder why this one is designed this way. Is it protecting from something? I don't know.
If it is, then we should probably put it back the way we found it, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Alright, let's see if I can line up using the radar. That should be relatively close. Um, not close enough. Try that. There we go. Come on. You can do it. Alright, that's three. One more to go. Um, which is where exactly? going over there. Can I walk past there? Oh, yes I can. That looks like more of a problem though. I might be able to lower the body, but the legs are not going to fit through there. Yeah, no. Must be another way around, then. Oh. You know, I figured out why the swan is their, their relaxing location. It's the only place where you don't hear these constant announcements. Alright, past here, I guess. It's the only way we are to be able to go. Fortunately, it's not really possible to get stuck. And even if you do manage it somehow, there's always the teleport to save location option, which also resets the location of the Kamalos. Um, over there, I guess. And it looks like we will have to dock again. There it goes. Alright, let's see what we have here. Some structure. Where's the actual valve, though? Is the question. Pipes kind of over that side. Don't know if that matters. Here, water somewhere. Um, let's see. Wait, it's there. Huh. Uh, how do you get there? I can't seem to actually shoot at that. Well, let's just look around a little bit more. Hey! We found remains of another Camelus. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, our friend has cannibalized this one for parts to keep the one 
we're using going for however long she's been by herself. Alright, just keep going. And it's the end of the line. We could not hit that from... Hey! I can reach the Camelus from here. Now that's interesting. Can I see that socket from the Camelus? Is <laughs> Was this at all useful? Maybe I didn't even need to get out. What does this do? Um, okay. That swaps the two bridges, but I need to be able to get back on the Campbellus, so... Kinda need the bridge. Interesting that you can't shut that hatch while you're inside. No, wait, that's all in there. Huh? Um. Oh, well, even if I could reach it, we are blocked by what I think is that bridge. So we need the bridge up, but I need to be here. That's a problem, because we just saw that. To raise that bridge, we have to lower this one, so I can't get into the Camelus. You see, that's that was blocking the, the opening in the front there, but now I can't get to the Camelus. Quite a jump from here. Hmm. Wait a second, though. I already noticed we can reach the socket inside the Camelus from the bottom here. And that socket. Let's us lower and raise it. So that looks about right. Now I should be able to get in using the other bridge. Hopefully? Yeah, okay. The game is lenient and lets me do this. It does not let me <laughs> it doesn't let me get back though. It's too high. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, that's not gonna work. Can I back up? The answer is no. Can I lower even further and then back up? That's as 
far back as I can get. Seems awfully hard to get to that from the the hole. Maybe I can just do it from here? Yeah, okay. That's much easier. All right. And that makes four. Now we just gotta go back to the reservoir. Unfortunately, there is no convenient conveyance spot to do so. We have to walk back the way we came. I do like this. Getting to drive this big, almost tank-like thing. Gives a little bit of a new spin to the rides you sometimes get in these games. I mean, you still get them in this game too, like the Omni Room. I'm gonna walk over this steep hill and pretend like that's not an issue. Alright, just gotta go back to our original docking point. How precise do I need to be here? I'm sort of underneath it now. Alright. Okay, there we go. Just had to get close enough. automatically shuts when you're not docked. I did not know that. Or at least when you're auto-docking. Hmm. Anyway... Let's hope that was enough water, because otherwise I am once again out of ideas. It was enough water, and by the looks of it, we did need all four of them. And from here, it seems much the same. Yep, elevator in the center of the spire. Let's raise this up. Oh yeah, of course, it's gonna stop here, where presumably these bridges will come down again. Enjoy the view while we go up. the same three statues. I'm pretty sure this is the only statue we've seen here. I think. Or is it this one? <laughs> I don't remember now. One of these two, because obviously that one's a woman. I wonder if that statue... maybe that one represents? St. Andrew, then? Didn't really pay attention in the other realms if all of the statues were the same one. Definitely gonna have to look in Curieville now.
Regardless, we have made it. And somewhat strangely, that seems to be the sphere thing that we have raised in Julston. Why is that here? Because this is not the same spire. If that's how it works, and yeah, there's the one for St. Andrew, then presumably that's the one for... Um... Curieville. But how... How is that one here? Is this the same spire? Is it somehow, like, interdimensional and exists in all three places at once? But that doesn't really make any sense with the bridges, unless it's just this inside part here. Or is there just a mechanism that, um... connects them or something across realms somehow? That signals this one to come up when we activated the thing in Julston? I mean, I don't know, the interdimensional explanation sounds far-fetched, but definitely not beyond what we've seen before in Cyan games. Although you'd think there'd be some kind of indication, like a changing outside view or something like... You know, like the, uh, the keep in the, in Mist 5. Anyway, I don't really know. Let's engage this thing. There goes the bridge. And there goes the I wish I could see sphere. what you have become. I wish I could see what that realm job become. We kept them, while not understanding. Even though that voice keeps claiming you do understand. Is the voice lying to me? I don't know what these patterns and symbols on the floor are. If anything... Don't really know. Are you guys Romans? Why are you wearing togas? I don't really get it. Maybe the shimmering? thing that happens when you activate the sphere indicates that something is happening in the other realms too. But the same shimmering also showed up when we raised the spire, and that was localized. So I don't know if that's accurate or not. It is a mystery, still. We've almost awakened this embrace thing, and we still don't really know an awful lot. Hopefully we'll get some answers. And now we have bridges, so we can get out. Similar to how it worked in Julston. So that's what these uh, other structures are for. Those at the oh, and that's why this, these uh, platforms are here too. So you have places to to get off the bridges, and then these plat structures are here to hold them in place. We did see those structures in Curieville as well. So did I? Did I seriously just go, like, the complete wrong side of this thing? Yeah, I think I did. Pick the worst possible bridge. Let's run back. Because we want to use the uh, conveyance pod. Head back to the swan. And see if we can repeat this process for Curieville. No. 
I wanna go to the swan. We have two embraces awakened. And one left to go. But, you know, I've been doing these things for long enough. You guys know how it works. We'll go back to Curieville to awaken the embrace there in the next video.